Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, today I'm going to be trying out something I saw on the internet. I just want to see if it works before I actually try it on something I care about. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying to refurbish these old pistons. Well, I shouldn't say these old pistons. I'm only going to do one of them. And I'm going to soak it in uh, Berryman Carb Dip. So here's another before shot of one of the pistons. And I'm literally just going to put it... It's been soaking in mineral spirits for about a week. And uh, I'm going to soak it in the carb dip for a few days. I actually forgot and left this piston. Ow! Left this piston in there for like almost a week. And it didn't hurt it whatsoever. It had a little discoloration on it. And I just hit it with this light wire brush on a drill right here. And it's a brass coated wire brush or whatever. <clears throat> and uh, it came right off no problems uh it's all clean ready to be installed once I put some new rings on it oh we'll see what this one does i cleaned the other one up a lot before i even put it in there this one i'm just gonna put in just like this with the carbon build up and everything on it and just see what happens after a couple days all right guys well this has been in the soup for several days now actually kind of work kind of got crazy and i kind of forgot about it so Anyhow, it's been in there for several days now, and uh, let's see if this stuff will come off. Um, good to see that there's still a piston there. Look at that. With a rag. Not even a wire brush. Ta-da! Wow, that was easy. But, yeah, easy way to... Uh, Take and clean up your piston rings for reuse. Now, I was going to reuse these, but problem is the cylinder walls are just so bad on this block because they got water in it and rust so bad that I can't hone them out. So it's going to have to be bored 60 over. So I couldn't help myself. Da -da -da! This is what's going in there in its place. Um... These are 60 over hydrotechnic pistons. They're just cheap. Um, what are they called? Um, Stevolite pistons. And I'm using some mall, molly rings. And they got spiral locks. And I got some seal power H beam rods. The reason behind buying these H beam rods, let me explain, is I don't have a rod press or any of that which like a lot of you guys at home don't have a rod press. Well, these can be installed with spiral locks, which yes, they are a pain, but you can do it. I just installed this one just to show you. Um, and I don't have to buy ARP bolts. I don't have to have the rod reconditioned, all that stuff. So by the time you get done with all that, these rods cost like 200 bucks. You know, and if you have all that work done to your stock set of rods, which are not going to be nearly as comparable let's set that up there well i tell you what that sucker's stiff now i'm gonna have to work on that if i ever want to use it but set that up next to this guy i mean look at the freaking heft of the two i mean obviously a much better piece i mean even though it's yeah it's made by seal power and you know or not seal power, but uh, Speedmaster. Speedmaster. Keep saying seal power. My bad. Uh, Speedmaster. Yeah, Speedmaster is just a bunch of Japanese parts, blah, 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 blah. Still going to be better than that. Guaranteed. So, yeah, that's what I'm going with. And like I say, if you were to have all this work done to this factory rod, which isn't as good as this rod by far, you're going to spend 150 bucks at the machine shop having, because, you know, the bolts are going to be like 50 bucks. And then they're going to charge you to re-ream them out, make them round again, do all that, blah, 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 blah. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just going to take and buy these and spend 50 bucks more and have a lot better product to sell. And that's going to do this on the cheap. Like I said, the cheapest set of pistons I got, these are 30cc dome top pistons with the uh, cast iron heads that I had that came off the block. It'll be about 10 to 1 compression. So it's going to make some pretty good power and it's not going to be very expensive. The pistons were 200 bucks, rods were 200 bucks uh thereabouts um i'll put the actual price right here <clears throat> the 
down the descent. But anyhow, um, I'll give you guys some kind of itemized number value for all this stuff. And there'll be a link in the description to these rods and these pistons on my Amazon affiliate link. Appreciate it if you click on that. Give me a little kickback. And it is possible to recondition these rods. I mean, you also can take the, uh, wow, look how clean the piston ring lands are. That's amazing. That works really, really well. Um, <laughs> yeah, these are almost going to put back in. Uh, wanted to reuse your pistons and just throw a new set of rings on it. This is a really good way to get them really super clean and get them where you can reuse them again. But for my money and for something I'm going to sell to one of my customers, that's just such a better option.